Hello everyone, this is CJ, also known as Rockaboy Down 5, and I'm here to show you guys how to use your Ninja OCs with the proxy color tool and of course the face tool. And I'll tell you this right now, if you guys use the main menu to go to your save and then load, your your OC characters will not work correctly just yet. You have to go reload the save again to see your customize hair. As of as of, this, as of this video, it will not work if you just go load from the main menu or another map and then and come to this map or whatever map you, you selected on the save file. You get to load again to get the correction. Your dupes that you probably saved should work just fine. As of the the proxy tool color tool update, so reason why the before is right here. The proxy there is a new line color slot one two whatever and this right here because before is right this was the the result without the hold on I'm gonna maybe remove the bloom. If there is any, okay, there is no bloom. Okay, fine. See, if you guys wanted to tone down the bloom, map bloom, scale factor, scalar, make sure it's zero, not one. Then you, then the bloom effect will, of course, lower down. Anyway, that aside. Have all these characters will go with my girl Jane. What if I don't want the eyes? Well, here there is an eyeball for that option. Of course, you don't see the eye coloring. There is a good reason why, because the how the eyes reflect work so. There is no direction whatnot on the eyeball, so that's why you don't see it. So in this case, you want to use the sub material, of course, and then just pick whatever color you want. I want to go with why not? Let's go with let's go with green. Ah, crap, I pressed the R button again. No, stop right clicking. Just want the green. Just, why am I always. I'm sorry. Bear with me, I always like to press certain buttons I should not press. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right, we got the green eyes. We can remove the eye, uh, eyeball. Now, of course, we want to get rid of the the hair here. So we're gonna remove it. Sent. Was there any gradient? No. It was on blank, so we're good. Now we can go go ahead and pick what we want. In this case, I want to go with the princess the princess hair. Why not? So in this, actually, no. Let's go with the braided. That sounds better. All right. As like I said before, because the that line of proxy is now changed. As you tell, it is on green. It ain't going green. So that's the proxy color tool comes in play. You go ahead before you actually start clicking. Go back to your context menu. Right click, body group, and make sure if you want the gradient, turn it on. And you'll see it on. You go ahead and now click it. You, then you hear a sound. 
And right here, when you hold the context menu again, as you see, the ones I have changed, or I have it processed, it's right here. I had a on green, purple, and somewhat dark red. So the main hair, as you see right here, will be green. This gradient will be purple. And since there is a hair tie, it's going to be dark red. Now go ahead and click. Or actually, it's more like greenish teal. So, as you can tell, you can see how it's changed. Because if you did not add the gradients, that comes to play. But you can just, but you can still get it in. But it won't fully show here. So. So you make sure you actually pick it out first to get this active and get it to work. And even these models are using the proxy because it because their original hairstyles are also proxied. All right, then all you need to do is place the hair uh, hair on and. You're good to go, right? Right? Not 100% yet. So, if I get the hands here, ah, uh, screw it. Let's go stamp pose. Even though I want to just, you know, I don't want to do that, but whatever. We're going to use this as our base. Actually, let's go like this. Let's go and use this model here. Uh, let's use this one here as well. And I don't know if that will work, but we'll, let's we'll see how it works. All right, we're going to use the pants. Oh, well, we don't want the pants anyway, so I'll just go ahead and remove that. I want the socks and shoes of those, so I don't want these shoes. I don't want the shirt, so that's going to be removed. Same for the back. Oh. Actually, keep the backpack. Well, no, I'm gonna keep the backpack on. Soft shoes, get rid of the tie. And I just want the. Uh... No, it's not the gloves. No, not gloves. Get the shirt. Ooh, that makes it very. Yeah, that won't work. Hmm. Nope. No. Long uh, long ones, no. Well, we could try that. Get rid of the shirt. Get rid of those socks. Get rid of the shoes. We can keep the we can keep that on there. I don't want the spike. I want this one on. So let's So that looks like a good match. Let's see skin. And, ooh, I like that. That work actually works. So let's go ahead and see if it works really well with this character. 
This. The shirt. With the pants. And backpack. That actually looks pretty cool. Of course, not all the body groups of the, of the gear will mix and match properly, so be warned. That's why there's a reason with Blender, which I'll probably show you guys if you guys want me to. Now the fun part here is the face tool. The reason why we want to use the face tool, you can see just a second. Of course, now you get to see the 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 face part of both the game. Desperatives, but if you scroll down further, you see these removable limbs. So in this case, I do not want the bra because the bra does not need to be present. Uh, does the collarbone? And let's keep the collarbone in there. And get rid of the shoulders, the upper arm, the elbow. Uh, okay, does not affect the arms, the, the lower arms, so we can get rid of those. We want to get rid of the, just in case, the stomach. Hip left, uh, hip right. Actually, let's go like this. Give it the shorts. No. Shorts up. There we go. Nope. Knee left, lower leg, no, not that one, give her the ankles, and then those. And as you can tell, there you go, there is your Ninja OC, fully customized. Backpack maybe not fully be used on this gear setup. But that's okay. But like I said, if we use Blender, we can probably just tinker around with it to, to, to the way we like it. So we don't even care. But this is for people who want to go right ahead, straight up from Gary's Mod. So now we want to get is a weapon. Because this is Ninja, we want to give this character a weapon. Weapon equipment. Does he have other gum bottles? No. Comics? No. I bought no, thank you. Helmet? No. Radio set? That's pretty cool. Why not? Let's give her the. Oh, hello. Hold on, let's make sure if it actually does work right. So these are from the OC packs, so we're going to check these out. Oh, I'm using the sub-material, that's Dumbo. Hmm, I think it'd be a lot, a lot higher. But anyway, I barely use them, so I don't really care for them as much. 
Let's, but since we had the idea of music in our mind, so let's give her the guitar. And of course, we're going to have to get rid of the collision. And then go to your, just like anything else, just go and mess around, have, have a little fun. Just make a pose. And there you go, there's your, yep, uh, let's fix that up a bit. And there you go, quick, something quick and simple for you guys to have fun with, so. So keep that in mind, you, you can save a map as long as you already loaded into the map or it's loaded again when you get into the map as you get your first load because the pressing tool does not work during the loading phase of the map but when you're already in the map and then load the, the, the save it works just fine and if you did, did it with the dupe it should also work just fine with, with all the proxy settings till then this is Rocketboy305, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.